Hello there everybody, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 17. Today's episode is going to be weird, it, it'll be different, uh, yeah, it'll be weird. In fact, it'll be so weird, like really weird, that you might just get weirded out and, and want to switch games, like from Minecraft to a game like, like Hourcraft or, or something, it's gonna be weird, it, it'll be really different. Like, like, it'll be weird. Uh, so, welcome back to the world, hope you're doing well today. Today's episode will be a little bit different, but first, we have a big problem. Now, the problem lies in this building right here. Can you take a guess? A probably, because I've been complaining about it a lot, but, uh, this, and, and this, and then this, and, and really, definitely that, and, and that, and that. Uh, storage has become a big issue in this world, everybody. It, it's time, at least it's finally time, to start talking about storage buildings. And we're actually doing this way earlier in this series than we did in the last one, too, which is I think is a pretty cool thing. The goal is to make a storage building that's even better than the last one. A lot of you guys really like that one, but if I'm being honest, like late game, I actually ended up not really liking that storage room. I, I enjoyed the design for a while, but it got old and, and stale, and yeah, basically I ended up not liking it, but I never told you guys about that until now, so the more you know. Now, we actually already have a lot of different things to store, and actually a lot of different things to smelt and fortune as well. Uh, maybe we'll do some enchanting today, but yeah, the storage room is going to hopefully be our permanent storage room, like for the whole world, like forever, because we already have a lot of stuff, and it doesn't make sense to build a small one. We should just go, I think, all the way and make a giant storage room for everything, like... Yeah, everything, or pretty much everything. Now, I have a rough idea as to where I want to build this storage room. It'll probably be somewhere over here, but first, I think we need to start over. We, we need to make a brand new world. Uh, yes, you heard me right, like a brand new Minecraft world. This isn't a troll this time. So, uh, today we're going to talk all about designing a good storage room. In the next episode, we'll probably end up building whatever we design today. Now, to design a good storage room, or really any good build in general, I always recommend having a creative world to mess with ideas in, because if you build it in survival, and then it's not very good, well, have fun taking it down again in survival, unless you're going to cheat. Uh, but that kind of ruins the whole survival experience, right? So today, we're going to make a Minecraft guide creative world. This world is going to be a super flat world, but we're going to customize it a little bit because I really don't like it when slimes spawn everywhere in my creative world. Now to customize this, I think all we need to do is go in, uh, I think here would be fine, and then we can say I don't know, something like 64, and then an asterisk, like that, and then that'll give us, or hold on, uh, the comma needs to be right after the dirt. If you don't place that properly, it's not going to work. So what this is going to create for us is a world that has one layer of bedrock, two layers of dirt, and then 64 layers of Minecraft grass block, because, I, why not? I mean, the grass blocks will all just turn to dirt anyways. So, uh, I think that's good. All of this stuff is fine. Uh, this is a creative world, after all, so create new world. Now this world will become the super flat world for this series. We probably won't see it very much, but it'll be the world where I test any ideas and designs that I might have, including our storage building. A storage building really, in my opinion, needs to be perfect, and that's why we're doing this today. If you build a storage building that doesn't have all three aspects correct, then it's basically not going to be good. Now, all three aspects, what does that mean? Well, to me, in this game, there are three main parts to a good storage building. Those three parts are design, storage, and organization. Now, some of these things kind of blend into each other, but those are really the three main points. We're going to go over those things today throughout the video. Hey, hopefully, by the end of today's video, you'll be able to design your own super fancy, really good storage room. If you like the video, though, make sure you drop a like, because this episode is really different, and I'd like to know if you guys like it. So, the three parts of a storage building. Design, storage, organization. So now that we're here in this creative super flat world, we have an infinite amount of space to test things and an infinite amount of blocks to test things with. So I think today we're going to start with some wool just so we can mark things out. And then, of course, we'll grab some chests as well because this is a storage building after all. 
So first things first, the design. The design is really the build, like how do you want it to look? Now of course, earlier on in the series, we talked about the different steps to building a good build. Those definitely still do apply. But specifically, when I'm talking design here, I'm talking what kind of style are you going for? Are you going for some kind of basic square building? Are you going for a round building? Maybe a building that you meant to be a circle and ended up being something like an oval actually what do you want to build a good storage building can really be any shape depending on how you work with things there isn't a particular shape that you need to use to make your storage building good but with that being said there is a shape that i think usually works out best for storage buildings and it's not uh it's not a diamond it's actually a circle circle storage buildings are my favorite storage buildings and i think that's the plan that we're going to go with today now there's one really big reason as to why i like circle storage buildings so let's say our storage building was this circle right here not the best circle definitely not perfect but uh, a rough circle with a circular storage room design that's something kind of like this the center of this room would start to look really cool because you'd have a bunch of storage chests all around you and probably a lot of item frames with items in them too and those things usually look really nice but of course it's not only about looks with a design like this the center of the room would be really nice for crafting things before you head off and work on a big project as well because i mean everything is kind of within reach you only have to move over a little bit and you can pretty much see everything from one spot in this room now the last storage room that we built it was a rectangle basically with two smaller rectangles inside of it that design works but it's not very efficient when you're trying to craft a bunch of things or put a bunch of things away because you find yourself going from one side to the other to the other to the other and it gets kind of annoying uh, unless you're really organized then maybe you're not doing that but hey your guy is organized but not that organized so first come up with a design or really a shape that you'd like your storage room to be that's where a good storage room starts we have our start our start is definitely going to be a circle but this circle a hey, that's not really a circle actually i think that's more of like an iphone app shape almost so we're gonna need a little bit of help say hello to plots plots is an amazing third-party website that helps you with difficult minecraft shapes i just realized that sounded like a sponsorship but it's it's definitely not this is what we're going to use to create the perfect circle i'll leave a link to this site down in the description now today we're creating a circle so we'll need this ellipse tab but if you're creating something else like a wizard tower or a lighthouse or even some kind of giant sphere this site is really useful you should definitely check it out if you need help with these kinds of weird shapes but anyways, ellipse. So we click on ellipse and then we have something that looks like this. Now, this is basically a block model of what we would want to build in Minecraft. Down here at the bottom of the screen, we can adjust things and create really whatever size ellipse we'd like. If we wanted a gigantic, maybe like a big boat, well, we could do that, but we're not building a boat, we're building a storage room. Now the storage room needs to be realistic, which means we need to keep things somewhat small. Now, how small? Well, I really don't know. All that I know is that I'd like an odd amount of blocks on one side. So this is one side over here. We need an odd amount of blocks. So an even number is not going to work. If we use an even number for the width and the depth, then we'll have an even number on our flat sides. And that's uh, not the goal. Now, to create a perfect circle, we need to keep width and depth exactly the same. Now, how big should this be? Well, I don't really know. I know 11 would be way too small. Let's go up to maybe 15. What would 15 look like? Mm, trying to visualize this here in Minecraft, uh, I don't think that's good. Uh, maybe we go a little up to maybe 19. How does 19 look? Um, I, I don't know. How about a 21? Let's go up a little bit more. Uh, honestly, that might be too big. Let's go back to 19 and... Honestly, I think we're going to go with that. But before we jump back into Minecraft, you can switch your viewpoint. If you'd like a 2D view of your circle instead of a 3D one, uh, just press 2D over here and you can zoom in and out. But uh, zooming in and out does not help us today. So this is good. We're going to go ahead and try and build this in Minecraft now. So I've got the circle chart on the second monitor. Now it's time to build. So it looks like we have our flat side being five blocks long, and then we have a two bit, a two bit, and then a two, a two, and then another five block long piece. So basically we have to create that 
three more times. Now the width and the diameter, I didn't really explain that. Our width is 19. That means it'll be 19 blocks from the center of one side all the way to the center of the other side. I think that'll be good. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think that actually should be, that might be perfect actually. Um, wow. Wow, I was kind of expecting to have to go back to plots. So, there we go. I think this is going to be our design. We'll have the entrance on one of these flat sides. I don't know which one, but one of the flat sides. For now, we'll mark our temporary entrance with purple wool, so we kind of know what we're thinking. So, unless something changes, the design is good. Now, storage. The next big part of a storage room is, of course, storage. You're designing this room to, to put things away, but with that being said, uh, now is the time where you want to decide if you want your chests going front to back like that, or if you'd like them placed normally alongside a wall. If you go with a chest placement design that looks like this, things will look really, really nice. I mean, in my opinion, I think Minecraft chests just look so nice, and that's why we did this in the last season. The downside of this is it's not really space efficient. It kind of takes up a lot of room really, really quickly. So, that means your other option is something that looks like this. Instead of placing our chests flat against the wall like that, this time, I think we're going to do something more like this. So, this is really nice. By placing our chests like this, we'll save a lot of space. But, I like my chest to be labeled, and I don't like placing item frames on top of a chest like that, because then we have to hit the corner of this block, and it's just a, a little too tricky, especially when I'm recording and trying to do things fastly. So, that means if we want our stuff labeled, we'll have have to alternate between chest rows and item frame rows. Now, if we place a solid block above these chests, the chests won't be able to open, so we'll have to use a trick. We'll use staircases instead. If you're on bedrock, I'm sorry, uh, you can't use staircases either, the chests won't open. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to get creative. You could use slabs or something else. So storage is all about how you want your items to be stored, or really, how you want your chests to be placed inside of your storage room once you have the design down. So, we're good with that part, we're gonna do that for sure, which means uh, we have to create a little bit of a mock-up here. That means it's time for me to fill in a lot of chests. Now, the only problem here is going to be this corner right here. We can't really do that, uh, so instead we could do single chests, but do I really need a bunch of single chests? Uh, probably not, so I'm thinking, instead of doing that, we might honestly just do some kind of side pillar right there and then copy this over on each side over and over and over again. Now, how high do I want our chest to go up? I'm thinking maybe three layers would be good. Uh, yeah, I think three layers would be good. If we went up any more than three layers, like all the way up to here, would we be able to reach that from the ground? Uh, yes, we can, but not easily. So I'm thinking threes just like that and then we'll have our item frames above each chest so diamonds would go there emeralds there uh pink wool or magenta wool right there yellow wool there and so on so that's what i'm thinking let me go ahead and fill in some of these sides so we get a better idea hey that's a lot of chests that should probably be good now i didn't finish the whole building because there's really no point on one wall so from here over to here we'll have 27 chests so 27 27 27 and then on this side if this is our entrance we'll have six and six that means we'll have 93 total chests inside of this storage building. Now, compared to the last one, well, uh, I don't know. So, sorry about that, but 93 chests is pretty good. Now, the final part of a good storage building is organization. Organization is something that you don't have to worry about right now. You'll worry about this once you start actually putting your items inside of the building, but this wall... This is a terrible wall. The organization makes no sense at all. I mean, we have prismarine there, and then prismarine there, then nether bricks there, nether stuff there, then wood there, and then uh, I thought there was more wood on the... No, there's not even more wood on this wall. Two things of cobblestone. Yeah, it's just not organized at all. When creating a good storage room, efficiency is key. 
To be efficient, you want your items organized, meaning if you have multiple nether items like nether bricks, nether rack, maybe glowstone quartz and stuff, you should put those items near each other. So prismarine variants and maybe sea lanterns, those would go near each other. Things like diamonds, emeralds, and iron, those items would probably end up being near each other as well. You'll find that your storage room is a whole lot nicer and easier to use if your items are sorted in some sort of method that actually makes sense. Now, another thing that you should probably do is keep things that you're using a lot somewhere easy to get. So for example, I tend to use a lot of cobblestone, I use a lot of stone, and I use a lot of wood. And instead of putting those things way high up in some corner, I'll probably put them right in front of my face somewhere. So like maybe in our storage room, we'll put like a bunch of wood right in front of us, a bunch of stone right below it, because it's easier to reach. If we use it on a lot of builds, we need to get it a lot. And if we have to get it a lot and it's easier to reach, well, that's probably a good thing. But uh, I think this is pretty much what our storage room should look like aside from actual blocks actual blocks are something that you might want to think about as well uh, i kind of have a rough idea i I think we're gonna actually use stone brick and sandstone and maybe a little bit of acacia wood and then lots of glass as well but i think we're gonna save that for the actual build step next episode so i think we're just about done in this world but i will tell you guys one thing i think it would be really cool to have some sort of dome on this building wouldn't it like a giant dome mm -hmm. uh i don't know i think that would be really cool but uh yeah i I think I've said enough. <laughs> All right, let's swing back over to the other world. Whoa, so here we are back in the normal world. So I think that's just about everything. So now time for materials. Let's run around and gather materials so the next episode we can jump right into the build and get pretty much the whole thing built, hopefully. Now, I know the first big material is going to be stone bricks. So we'll need a couple stacks of stone. Then I, I'm planning on using some terracotta on the build and actually probably orange terracotta. I think that'll look really nice with sandstone. We'll also need acacia logs and I actually might need to farm a little bit more of these things up. Then uh, glass, we're gonna need a lot of glass. In fact, I don't know if this is gonna cut it. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to just kind of see in the next episode. I might actually set up some sort of big long line of furnaces so I can just start smelting things. But uh, switching gears from materials to location. Now, a storage building should be placed in a good central location. Now, based off of what we've been doing so far, a good central location would actually be right in front of our brand new vine farm. But uh, if we look around, that would leave one more area for things to be built around the storage building. And that area would be right here. And if there's one more area to be built around the storage building, then basically after like three more episodes, our storage building would be in a really bad location. It would be kind of surrounded by a bunch of things that we've already done. I'm thinking that maybe over here would be a decent central location towards uh, whatever we're going to do in the future. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but... I'm kind of just taking a guess here and saying that this would be a good spot. I mean, it has access to the rail line, which is a good thing. And then it has access to a lot of open space for future builds. So I think we're going to put our build right in here. Now, where exactly? Not 100% sure. We're going to have to mess around with things, place blocks down and see what we like. But for now, we'll just put our building chest over here and that'll be good. Now, uh, we have one more big material that we need and we don't have actually at all over here that material well that would be sandstone we need a lot of sandstone for this build so we're gonna go ahead and grab a bed and grab our map and then head off into the desert now when we were exploring in the last episode we did pass some nice mountains to the south but I'm thinking that we could actually maybe go over towards the north, towards our mob farm, and find some decent hills over there that we can pretty much just hollow out. We're not looking for a crazy amount of sandstone, but we are looking for a, a decent amount. The plan is to hopefully have pretty much everything ready next episode so we don't have to take any breaks. We can just jump into the build and get the thing done. I mean, today's episode is all about preparation and planning, so... I, I feel like it would make a lot more sense to get everything ready today instead of in the next episode, you know? And oh my gosh, I'm just noticing this, but take a look at that Savannah Hill over there. There is definitely a camouflaged well on that hill. I did not see that until now. That's kind of crazy. I've been looking at that hill a lot. Like, we've been here the whole time. That is very sneaky. 
all right so uh looking off in the distance it looks like we have a decent hole over there that might be a good starting spot and there's a lot of invisible spiders in there what is up with that uh, very interesting but yeah i'm thinking one of these hills we could probably either go on the back side or just go inside of whatever that thing is and start digging now uh usually with sandstone i like to speed mine it like insta mine but we don't really have oh it's a ravine oh it is uh somewhat a ravine hmm i mean that's a lot of sandstone over there hmm can we get around this thing we can very dangerously um i don't think that'll fall yeah because we're not right next to it so how about we uh, can we go to the back side of this thing and dig and i want to go from the back because then we don't see all of my excavation what the minecraft bee this is one of the definitely one of the bees from the field that we built over there because there's nothing oh, what is this bee even doing dude where are you going what <laughs> um it flew all the way up here then it was probably in like an unloaded area and it's just been here i thought bees would despawn after like 10 minutes of being away from their home i guess unless they're not loaded in wow um I don't even know what to say about that. That's 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 kind of crazy. Oh wow, look at this. This pickaxe does insta mine this stuff. Okay, that's really good. So the plan here is to basically grab a, a couple stacks of this stuff. I I don't know exactly how much we're gonna need, but if we get I don't know like yeah maybe five stacks, so we should be more than set. I I think so. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, and I'm gonna try and dig down instead of up. Because if we go up, we might end up bringing a bunch of sand down on, in on us. And definitely, that's not that's not too great. But it's uh, also nighttime. Uh, wow. I, you know, I never realized how fast insta mining is until I look at my inventory and realize that I have way more than what I said I needed. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit more stacks of sandstone. I think we're kind of set here. I'm, I'm going to try and make a seven clean stacks because I can. And then we're going to actually head back. We're set already. That's kind of crazy. And I got to say, mad respect to that bee right there for whatever it's determined to do. It definitely is um, formulating some evil plans. So we should probably keep our eyes on that guy. But for now, uh, since I don't have any flowers, it will live out here in the desert alone. It chose that life. So... I mean, what can you do? Um, really, what can you do? I just want to know how the bee got all the way over here, though. That's that's seriously crazy. Like, like what? <laughs> Why? Now, the other final ingredient for our storage room is going to be a lot of excess wood to make a bunch of storage chests. And that is something that we're not going to really worry about today. So, when I build a storage room, I like to really just have enough chest to start the thing and then as we go we expand the storage room the storage room that we're building is pretty sizable it's gonna have a lot of room to store items now we don't have 92 double chest worth of items we have a lot of stuff but not that much so i'm not worried about filling the thing necessarily next episode but i mean you never know i might end up doing it anyways we could just cut down a couple giant spruce trees and we should be good but 92 double chests that's a lot of wood the other thing uh, that i just thought about that we'll need to is uh leather for item frames my leather farm the the cow crusher is been treating me really nicely so i should be good there i might need to breed the cows up a little bit more but for the most part we should be pretty close on the leather as well and so with the land all cleared out it's time to lay the foundation of our future storage room this is a big moment elite so one two three four five something like that and then two two and then we go over two two and then five again in here is that a good placement a we want to move back a little bit this is kind of getting close in here i'd like to leave a lot of room for that train station oh right something like that looks a whole lot better but the cow over there that guy's gonna have to move i might uh well i definitely will relocate him over to our cow pen in between episodes but i think this placement is pretty much perfect we have a lot of space in between this stuff 
and the storage building enough room to put like a mini garden over there and then a road going in between i could always move these flowers if i have to but yeah that should be good for today so now next episode we're building all right so we got 31 levels again let's try our hand at a fortune three pickaxe what are we gonna get uh, unbreaking three okay let's roll that over real quick we can roll it over once hey uh, what do we have efficiency four no that is not it we're waiting until we get fortune three on that diamond pickaxe so hey uh, thank you very much stone shovel for your help but no luck today Thank you all so, so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really different, but definitely let me know in the comments what you think about it. The goal was really to explain storage rooms. I get a lot of questions about them a lot, so hopefully this episode helped you out if you were wondering about designing those things. As always, all of the links to everything that I do is down in the description. My Twitter, Discord, Instagram, everything. Streams from this world are Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. If you love what I do, consider becoming a patron. It really helps me out, and you get some cool benefits for doing so, such as early access to these episodes. If you don't like the idea of supporting me every month, well, hey, there's merch too, and you look pretty cool in it. I, I bet you will. Today, I'm sending a big shout out to my boy, Skelly Wampus. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day.